Hey YouTube, this is Orion making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Um, another discussion piece. I saw on Cole Cracker um, YouTube the other day talking about Tinder tubes. Um, he was discussing about how to make them up, and I, I fooled around with Tinder tubes a bit, and I, I've, I've made several videos about them and whatnot. And I'm a big advocate of the Tom Tell Doers. I, I make one up and I've shown that on video as well. But um, I quite often, I actually don't like the Tinder Tube all that much. I found with cotton rope, basically what it, the Tinder Tube is, is you get a, a brass casing, shell casing from a rifle, cut a cut the primer end off basically at the head you, you cut that off and then put cotton rope down it and char the end of it and then use that for flint and steel what I found with it is the cotton doesn't take a spark consistently um, what I do say is use proper slow match you can buy them. Beaver Bushcraft has them. And I have long advocated buying slow matches off Beaver Bushcraft. Anyone who doesn't know, a slow match is a treated cotton, 100% cotton, treated with potassium nitrate, which is a primary ingredient of gum powder. So that's why I say buying them, because... It's hard to get it. It's not that hard to get it, but I don't want to go through the hassle of getting potassium nitrate because I don't want to go on a watch list for buying the stuff. You can get it from certain supplies of in garden. It's used for stump um, breaking, uh, killing stumps. It's also used in brining and all sorts of things. You can get it. But I don't want to go through the hassle of having it and storing it on in my suburban house. So I buy the, the treated slow matches. These are excellent. They're like four pounds for three of them. As soon as Beaver Bushcraft gets them, I buy them. Um, I also have bought another lot from... Blackthorn, USA. They were the original ones I got. Um, it did come with a snuff. I have it. I didn't bring it out. Um, they are good too. They're just as good as Beaver Bushcraft ones. They're, they're about the same quality. So, they, And they are the proper treated ones. Potassium nitrate treated. So they work just the same. These are the best ones for this application. They are they take a spark really easily. I'll show you in a minute. If you're going to use for that application, that um, Tinder tube, I suggest buying lamp wick. Get quality lamp wick. The only problem is, and I've got onto a Queensland or Australian version of it, it's expensive. It's like $19 a metre. So... When, by the time you buy it, you almost you're just as just the same as buying treated slow matches. So you may as well, for the price you're paying for these things, for lamp wick, proper quality lamp wick, you may as well buy the slow matches. That's why I I, I say. This is a good option because it does it does take a spark really well, a lot better than normal cotton rope. Um, it you may as well go to the expense of buying the the treated slow match. Um, the one thing I will say I do buy the Chinese versions of the lamp lamp wick. These are very cheap. It's like a dollar twenty for a roll of it. 
that's not a full roll. It's um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how much is in it, but that roll's a little bit bigger. But that's what you get. It does come from China, but it's 100% cotton, and it it does take a spark consistently. So, but it does take like two months to get here. So I buy six at a time. Cost me about eight bucks for them to come uh, for them and. This is good stuff. I, I, I don't mind buying this because it is cheap. As you can see, you just char the end of it, then lay it on a stone like you do, and then throw a spark into it. If I can get it to go. There you go. As I said, it takes a spark really easily. Then you put that in your tinder bundle and blow it into flame and it acts like char cloth. That's a viable option. It takes a spark really easy. Um, yeah, it, this is good stuff. I don't mind this stuff at all. To put it out, and this is where I say you don't need a snuffer. You just use two pieces of flint and the coldness of the flint just puts it out. You just blow on it and then that's it. Now I did cut off a little bit of the thinner, this is that lamp wick, the quality lamp wick that I buy from Australia, uh, Australia source. Um, it does take a spark as well, really easily, usually. If you can get it to fall in it. And this is what I found with, with these lamp wicks, is the problem is it's trying to get that spark to land exactly where, there you go. But once you get a spark landing on it, and again, exactly the same thing. You just put that in your tinder bundle and then blow it into flame. But, like I said, this stuff is quite expensive to buy. So that's why I always advocate buying these treated ones. Because if you go out into inclement weather, this stuff won't take a spark. And that was why I always said with um, like normal cotton rope, that was with um, coal cracker. He, um, he was saying about using cotton rope. Well, I fooled around with cotton rope and I never found it to work consistently. I, I, I tried with several types of cotton rope and they just wouldn't take a spark consistently. And that's why I got onto this lamp wick because it does take consistent spark. But the cotton rope... and, and Honestly, cotton rope is expensive too. So, yeah, I, I just don't know why. It just wouldn't take a spark consistently. And as far as, as far as it goes, I think, honestly, as far as all these types of things go, you're honestly better off going to the, to the slow match. But that, that, it's just a discussion piece on, on, on the, what I've found with all these, all these things. Um, yeah, if you really, really want to go to try and get it out of it the cheapest way, that's the what best one for it. Um, yeah, it, it is. It is the best, like the cheapest way of getting out. It's just Chinese 
lamp wick and then the the next one the next best one if you want to go lamp wicks and that's still not out it, <laughs> it takes a little bit because this one's a lot thicker um yeah you can go to this one i used to buy german stuff um but they won't send it to me because of covid so i kept trying to buy and it's just as expensive so um yeah i am I'll put that down and I'll try and put this one out because it, it's just not going out at the moment. <sighs> um, yeah, I used to buy a German lot and now I buy this Australian, I prefer to buy the Australian stuff anyway because, um, yeah, it's supporting Australian, Australian stuff and it's just as good as the German stuff anyway. But, yeah, I, I, it, it's quite expensive too. But if you're going to go to that cost of that, Honestly, buy slow match. It's treated and it, it takes a spark consistently really easy. Um, I'll show you that. Now that's out now too. That's good. And the slow match will smolder even in inclement weather. Because these, these are what used to be for um, match locks and cannons. Cannoneers used them. That did have a spark in there. Here we go. Might have to treat that one again. That one's not looks like it's not doing it properly. Sometimes they have to be prepared properly. Obviously, I hadn't prepared that one properly. It hadn't been charred properly. That was my fault. It's definitely out now. See how it's properly charred now? Yeah, definitely out. It's not burning me. See, as soon as it's properly charred. And that'll just smolder away now. Because it's treated. And that's the slow match. And, um, as far as with all these, all these sort of things, I always advocate... Go with the slow match. Um, they are the best of all these types of things. But if you want to get out of it, and they aren't, they are a little bit expensive. Like that, for three of them, you, you pay four pounds. But you do have to pay for international shipping from Beaver Bushcraft. So that's 12 pounds. So you're honestly better off buying 
I buy, I usually buy two or three packets of them at a time. So I usually buy, I take it up to 20 pounds all up. So buy two packets of them and 20 pounds and that gets me six slow matches for 20 pounds, which is reasonably expensive, but they, they last a fair while and they're, they're a brilliant product, like as far as that goes. And you, they, they basically replace char cloth. That, that's, that, that's exactly what they do. They, they're an they're a, a alternative to char cloth. And you can fit them in your tins. That's what I like about them too. You, you put, put them in your, tin, in your tinder tins with a couple of pieces of flint and that. And that's rather than having to put in char cloth. And as you saw, once you char it properly, I, I hadn't charred that properly. And that was why it didn't take a spark. But now that it is charred properly, um, yeah, it, it will take a spark really easily now. And away you go. But anyway, just another discussion piece on on these on these matches and slow matches and and on lamp wick and that lamp wick's a good idea. Um, cotton rope is probably the poorest out of all of it. Um, I've never had much success with it. I've, I've tried it. I fooled around with it a bit. It's probably the lowest tier. Lampwick is definitely the next. But then Cotton Rope is the superior product out of all of them as far as it goes for flint and steel. And, um, yeah, if you, if you want to go for, like, the cheapest one, this is, this is definitely the best bet. Um, yeah, it's Chinese, but it, it seems to work. I, I, I can't fault it as far as it goes. Um, it, it, it works and it stores really easily. You just, when you fold it up, you just put that, that bit there just to protect it. You fold it up so that it's like that. And then I usually put it in a little plastic bag. Um, I had a, I had a plastic bag here. I just put it in a little plastic bag, push all the air out of it, and then store it like that in your, in your, in your tin, and away you go. So, yeah. Anyway, just a, a bit of a discussion on, on lamp wick, slow matches, and cotton rope, uh, cotton as an alternative to char, char cloth, and the, what, what, what I think is the best bet, and whatnot. I will link um where I get this from and where I got that the um blackthorn slow match I will link this and the Aussie source of this lamp week as well so yeah anyway thanks for watching